Hey, this is uh, Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, going to be rolling with the uh, Arizona Cardinals on offense. Uh, I'm going to be also using Matt Patricia, Detroit Lions on defense. Going against uh, a guy running with the Cowboys uh, is his primary team. And the Cowboys actually is one of the better teams in ranked. I'm used to Chicago Bears come out of the uh, single, uh, single back uh, formation. And uh, you could see this guy actually had an idea that this is this is one of those little glitchy runs. He actually had a stacked defense off the edge, expecting that off off the off the edge run. Uh, so he actually had a good defense against it. So I, do, I settle for an inside run. Uh, come out of the single back case. This is going to be another formation I'll be jumping into in the gameplay. Uh, drag up my guys so I have a mesh concept that's actually good against man coverages and able to go ahead and get uh, some yards, get it to a third and one situation. And uh, right here I'm in doubles formation. I jump into just a little inside zone and just pick up some tough yards uh, over the middle. Back to the single back ace right now. He's got a seven-man front right there. It looks like it's a, a 43, but look, you see the defender actually comes off the edge, catches me in the backfield. I lose a yard on that. Uh, come back into um, uh, the uh, gun ace offset, hit the flat, settle for that, uh, and able to go ahead and get the ball into another third and two situation. And I go into um, uh, the dig right here, the flanker dig. You know, doubles formation. I could have hit the flat, look for the little crosser, more consistent routes, uh, and actually settle uh, that and actually go ahead and get a first down. So coming back into um, a trips formation, this is corner strike. What I like about setting this up is that uh, it's got really easy reads against zone and man coverage. And this route, which is a dig route on the inside, always gets good leverage against man coverage. You can see right here I'm able to go ahead and get the ball down to the 15-yard line against my opponent. So first and 10 situation. Um, I, I couldn't snap the ball right here, so I was forced to take a timeout in this type of situation just to reset the play. Come back to this. I go into um, the uh, wing, uh, uh, wing uh, tight uh, stacked and actually hit levels. Actually, that was just a miss, miss throw. I wasn't really meaning to throw it that way, and I just actually got it to receive it correctly. So I go into um, this play, which is Z-spot out of the ace. It's, it's a play that I can run in the end zone. I'm actually going to try to go ahead and do a little pass right here. And he actually gets a good animation and, and picks off the ball. Then takes off out of the end zone, and I'm in some serious trouble right here. But fortunately, Gabriel is able to go and tackle this guy behind because that would have been a pick six from, from his end zone to the other end zone. So jump into um, just a, a basic cover four, press my guys, uh, and just see what he, he does on offense. I just want to give him a generic defense and just kind of get a feel for what he likes to do on offense. He only runs two routes, blocks everybody, and actually takes off this quarterback, and that's going to be the theme of the game. Right here I get a, 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 a tackle a fumble a strip and able to go and get the ball back. So Cleo Mack actually pays some big dividends, do a little inside zone. But just getting back to this guy's offense, he actually is going to be running running a lot with his quarterback and it becomes a, it becomes a huge problem for me. So jump in this play right here. I'm looking to the running back route that's actually locked up and the corner route is wide open but I should have possession catched it because I, I tried to rack it and his defender actually comes down with it and uh, knocks the ball out. So uh, fourth and three situation. I'm actually looking to the slant on the backside of Robinson and uh, it looks like it's covered up but nobody's following my tight end in the middle. I go ahead and possession catch it. He keeps his feet in and I'm able to go up by a touchdown seven to nothing. So I'm back on defense. I'm using my uh, my safety blitz right here. Uh, he actually has some. He, he, what he was running a lot was like uh, wheel routes with combination wheels on the on the back end side, and he was using this concept a lot. It was costing me a lot of problems. So I, right here, I go ahead and man up uh, his running back. He gets some pretty good leverage right there. Nice little blocking. Nice little juke, and I'm able to go ahead and tackle him just shy uh, of the first down marker. And now he actually was running, he was coming out uh, out of the huddle, he was coming out of a monster formation, and then he would audible into another one. This guy's, this is probably one of the best drives this guy has right now, because he was, he was doing he was doing quick hiking and, and audibling into different formations, and it was very difficult for me to go and pick up on his tendencies, because he was running a lot of different formations. So this guy definitely had a very customized book. Takes a shot over the middle, I've got three safety, uh, three players in the position. We're back to that monster set right now. I've actually got a man blitz set up for him. And <clears throat> he 
uh, goes into just an open formation right here. I'm gonna, I got to take Beasley across the middle. He hits me in the mesh on the back inside, and I was able to go run back and actually get the ball down to the 20-yard line right there, a 19-yard line. So he you know, huddled me again. So right here, I go into cover two shell, and I'm looking for the crossing over the middle. He actually goes and settles down into the flat. My uh, Fuller's able to go and wrap up Zeke. So he goes back into um, the monster, then actually switches into another formation, which is like a pistol formation so this guy had a monster monster custom book based on uh, the plays that actually was using so he went ahead and switches into another play right here goes into um, uh, the gun bunch situation you watch what he's gonna do he's, he's, he's gonna take Zeke put him off to the right he's got a little wheel route with Zeke and this is a levels concept right here and Zeke is wide open in the flat my guy comes down misses him in a tackle gets him down to a 32 situation so now he jumps back into um, it looks like a split back formation right here. I'm actually got a, a bunch of zones up, and um, he takes off this quarterback. So this guy, he had his reads down. He knew what he was doing. Uh, he had a, a complex uh, offense right here. Goes into the monster, catches me off guard. I was a little bit frustrated about that, uh, but it was a good drive. It was a phenomenal drive for him, and that goes into the second half. Scores tied seven to seven. He's getting the ball in the second half, so he's in the driver's seat right now. Uh, in this particular situation, so I went ahead and switched into a, um, a, a sky uh, sky defense and a spy at my defensive end. I actually pitches. I actually switched my guys, my my linemen, but I'm able to go and get a nice little user uh, a tackle right there. Now he goes. He switches into wheel halfback wheel out of the um, the split the split close uh, is one of his formations to so go back into um, a uh, a a strong formation and he's forced to get rid of the ball so now this guy starts sprinkling the uh, strong coast uh, against me uh, and he's actually using the bunch formation too so here's a formation with the bunch uh, I went in spied up my outside uh, defender and I think what I did is I actually switched it up I think I spied the opposite side and then I went ahead and took uh, my other defensive end and actually go ahead and manned him up on the running back with the anticipation that he was going to go ahead and take that running back and move him off to the right and do that verticals formation. So see how I got my guy manned up right here? This is what causes some problems. So I'm actually looking for the guys over the middle. I look for the wheel route, and he throws right in the coverage, right in Cleo Mack, and Cleo Mack takes off. He's rumbling down to the 20-yard line, 15, 10, 5, and I just come up just short of a touchdown for Cleo Mack, but I'm able to go and finish him off with a little pitch play uh, and be able to go up by seven, uh, seven points. So 14 uh, to, to seven right here. He's back into the strong close. I'm actually looking and trying to anticipate He's going to be doing uh, the, the halfback wheel, and he actually takes a nice move. He gets a little juke off to the left, and he's able to go ahead and take it house against my defense because I had everybody down in the box. And just that quick, the score's tied 14-14. to -14. So back on offense again. I, w I go into angle smash. This is one of my favorite plays. He mans up the guy. I got a fast read because of the smoke route, and Miller is able to go off to the uh, off to the braces, down to the ten, down to the five, and able to go ahead and go up by another tour so score. So seven seven the first half. Now we've actually got about twenty one points that have been ch exchanged between the two of us. He goes in a wildcat. I just go in an all out blitz because he's in a wild wildcat play. Back into uh, the uh, half back, split, uh, split close. He does a, does a half back wheel. This is what pisses me off. He takes off his quarterback. Uh, he actually tries to throw the ball, but he doesn't get it off. Goes back into the play again. Right here. <clears throat> For some reason, I, I, I go off to the right. I should have played the middle of the field. I know that's the weakness of that defense I was doing. I didn't. I didn't play the right uh, right route. Back in the halfback wheel once again. Uh, and actually takes off this quarterback. So this is the this is the catch-22 with this guy. He was running with his quarterback consistently. He was hitting me with a lot of the the the, the old old adage of like money plays. Right here, he actually goes. This is a really good play right here. He's actually just using slants. He streaks up his running back and then opens up the backside right there uh, with my coverage and actually gets gets the ball down to the two-yard line. So 21-14, back into the wheel format, uh, back into the split close. I'm expecting him to hit me with uh, some type of uh, the, the the close wheel or you know or maybe the full back dive. He switches into a different play right there, pushes his guys out. So he's got a, a different type of split close, which is not close. It's it's just a regular split formation, and he takes off this quarterback and he's able to go and get the ball into the end zone. 21 to 21, going against a guy with a monster book. You go back into 
Uh, there's a little halfback wheel right here. Get bad animation, but I'm able to go take it off and get it down to the 45-yard line. Uh, second and 10 situation. Going into uh, the flanker dig, looking to the flat. I look to uh, the, in, uh, the the dual drag route, and I actually drop the ball. So third and 10 situation right here. I'm going into double posts, and uh, right here I, I throw it into coverage. That was an inverted six. He didn't show show that to me entire game. Messed me up. And then I got stupid in this situation. I go into a play I don't normally use a lot in my gameplay, and as his defensive back or defender play players, rookie uh, linebacker is able to go and pick get the ball right down to the 40-yard line. So, once again, I've got to go ahead and play against one of these annoying plays, which is going to be the halfback wheel. I think I'm using cover six right here. And actually tries running the ball. I get a nice little block shed by my line. Of course, you know, huddles once again. Goes into a halfback wheel. I've got some pressure going off the edge right here. And he takes off this quarterback. And he's able to go ahead and get it down to uh, another first down. And he's actually chewing the clock up but using the no huddle. So I've got a, I have like a, a corner... Um, a play right there is actually it was a it was a, a DB um, a blitz off the right hand side, and he just kind of catches me in the wrong defense. So now I go into um, a cover two shell. We got edge pressure going off the edge. He takes off this quarterback once again. I'm able to go and tackle him. Um, I'm I'm really in the wrong defense right now. So I like I I came out in a different defense to chase, change things up, but because this guy was no huddling me, uh, he caught me off guard and I didn't really have an answer to, for his offense. I go into just a man blitz uh, man play defense and actually spy up my guys. So now I switch things up a little bit. I do a corner blitz out here. I actually got my guys in the middle of the field dropping back in zones just to kind of mess up his reads. And I'm able to go and get him a tackle right there. So fourth and six, he no huddles. You got to take the points in the situation. Take the points. Go up by lead. Don't give an opportunity to the opponent. And then right here, he takes off the quarterback and throws in the coverage. And I get the ball back. I get the ball back. And he, with just a dumbass move right there. So I go ahead, <coughs> use the uh, post route uh, right there, get a first down. Come back to the same play again, um, looking to the flat. Uh, by the by, the tight end, able to go and pick up some yards, get out of bounds. Two minutes and 35 seconds, uh, second and four situation. Um, use the uh, this is a play action um, rollout play, and basically I'm looking for the opportunity. I'm seeing single high coverage, so I'm actually trying to take a shot up top. But his defenders are actually over the top, so I just run with my quarterback. I haven't ran with my quarterback the entire game, so he's not prepared for it. Go into the angle post right here. This is actually a bad decision. He actually was using that corner route, and I'm able to go ahead and complete it. He should have picked me off. That was a bad choice. You never force the ball into uh, in a situation. So I go on a corner strike um, out of the trips formation. Block up my guys, streak up my tight end, and actually drag up my backside uh, wide receiver Robinson. I'm looking for the in route. It is man coverage, so, or I, I, so I go ahead and drop it down to the drag route, and I'm able to go pick up eight yards, and just the clock is just chip, chipping down right now. He's got a double A gap situation going on, and inside zones are very effective against double A gaps. So what I do is I just do a nice little inside zone. I'm able to go and pick up uh, a first down right there. Go back into corner strike in this type of situation. And I'm able to go and hit the flat with Cohen. Cohen actually gets some pretty good animation, gets the ball down into field goal range. So I'm in field goal range. I actually can finish this game out with 25 points, uh, uh, 25 yards out. So nice little inside zone. He actually goes ahead and takes his timeout, starts start burning his timeouts. And right here I go into flanker drive. And um, <clears throat> the, the way I've been running this, I've been dragging my uh, slot receiver over the middle. And, of course, he actually plays down to the flats. The, ins, the, the deep end, the, the dig route on the back inside is wide open. And that's basically it. Going to go ahead and settle for the, for the, for the score, going up tw uh, by three points and winning the game. So, once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be rolling out some more Cardinals gameplay and then jumping into some new, another book soon. So, thanks a lot for your support. Until next time.